back again for another video and in today's video I'm going to show you guys how to customize your Steam library well non-Steam games <coughs> to show its full colorful and cover arts just like its Steam games do. Um, so if you guys don't know already Steam updated its um, its big picture mode um, which matches the Steam Deck UI. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys can see it. It's recording. So yeah. Hopefully you guys can see this, but uh, if not, yeah, so you see here, uh, when you first launch the new big picture mode, you can see all your, your non-steam games have no art or anything on it. Um, so in order to fix that, you're gonna have to change some settings. Oops. Um, so what you want to do is make sure I start recording. Okay. So what you, first thing you want to do is you want to head to your library, and you can see all your game collections here. You can see most of these games. You know, it's not from Steam. You know, um, I got these games from another source, <coughs> and you can see there's nothing at all here. So what you want to do is you want to open your web browser. I will drop the description, I'll drop the link in the description, but you wanna head to steamgriddb.com. So basically what this is, it's basically a where, you know, users, they make their own cover arts or they use official cover arts to print us, to uh, customize your Steam menu and stuff like that. So what you wanna do here is you can see it has two, all these grids. There's a lot of, there's a lot of things going on here. Um, so what you want to do first is you want to know which game you want to want to customize first. So in this case, I'm going to do excuse me. I'm going to do Hot Wheels Unleashed next. So you want to search up Hot Wheels. Usually it pops up. Um, so we got to put more. So Hot Wheels Unleashed. There we go. And then boom. Now you can do this in two ways. You can use the official Steam cover arts and stuff which is the header you don't, you don't need the header anymore you don't need to use the header anymore the header is, is basically obsolete at this point because of the new big picture update is using the steam deck um the old big picture mode use it use the header but you don't need this anymore what you need is going to need the capsule the hero the logo and the client icon which in case is nothing there um sometimes you don't really need the client icon. Um, well, actually, it's, okay, it's here. Yeah, you gonna have to use a, a third party. So um, usually, what I do is when you use, I usually use the original um, cover arts here. And then if it's missing anything here, I just head on to third party <coughs> that users make. Excuse me. Um, so let's say you look up a game and this is not on Steam at all. So you want to head down here, and these are what users created. Um, sometimes there are a little bit more better than what Steam has originally or what the game developer had but um, So same thing as before you only need the grids the heroes logos and icons um, so If you want the icons the icon is just Is to make um, You know the black boxes here on the side Show the game icon itself. So, uh, if these doesn't bother you go right ahead to me It doesn't bother me, but starting to actually fill them in so if you guys want to you can copy the icon file as well <clears throat> so when I go to grids and well in this case this is official I would choose original and I will right click here save image as I already have a folder of all my steam um, pictures and stuff like that so I'm gonna create a new folder in the picture of this okay so basically how it goes is I have steam picture folder right here and I will make a new folder of whatever game those pictures are going to. So in, in, in this case, Hot Wheels. So I will put Hot Wheels Unleashed. You're gonna put the whole name, you know, just something that you remember. And you're gonna hit save, right? Then you go under Hero, right click, save image as. You wanna make sure it's always, um, you know, whatever files file extension it is. You wanna make sure it's the same. Um, again, as you can see here, this one's PNG. You wanna hit save. And because there's no, there's no um, client icon here, you want to head to a third party user, you're going to hit icons. And then in this case, I'm going to use this one. So it looks nice. 
you don't really have to press it and then hit download you can just hit this little icon right here and it will download into a new tab and again right click save image as and go in the same folder um in this case it says a png um, it's supposed to be an ICO file. I'm not sure if Steam will actually put this as the icon, but let's try it out. So after you download those, you want to let me see something here. Um, all right, so you want to head back to Steam, and the first things first, you want to hit library, and the game that you're thing, in this case, Hot Wheels Unleashed, you want to right-click it, manage, and set custom artwork. Then you're gonna go to that folder that you made. I usually um, I organize the the sort to be the newest photo folder created, so it's easy for me to choose. So in this case, it's right here. And for these, it's gonna be the grid. So this is the grid right here. And I double click and there you go. Now what you wanna do next is you wanna hit that game, and you can still see that the that the cover is missing and the, and the logo here is missing as well. So again, you want to right click here, set custom background. And in this case, it's going to be the library hero. There you go. And then again, we're still missing the, the logo right here. You want to right click and set custom logo. And then logo is right here, how it's unleashed. And boom, there you go. Now, there's a couple of this one. Anyways, um, so now here is the icons missing. So you want to right click it again, hit properties. This little box right here, you want to click on it and then choose the folder that you created. It's a bit small here, I don't know why it's so small. Um, it's usually in alphabetical order. Oh damn, I think it's so small. Okay, so here you go, Hot Wheels Unleashed. And then you're going to see here it says File Type, Program Files, EXE. You want to choose All Files. And then, let me see, where is it? this is it right here let's see if it okay boom so uh, it actually did take it so let me see hot lava because i forgot to actually do that one and that's basically it guys that's, that's how you um what's that? that's how you here we go boom that's how you customize your steam library with the new steam deck update for the big picture mode so other than that guys, thanks again for watching this week's video, be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye for now guys.